This is part one of two. Part one, I will show you how to crochet the stop to this extent. And then in part two, we're going to complete the top. So this top is for a doll. I just want you to get the perception of how to crochet this very easy top. Let's begin. Let's begin. We're going to do a total of 60 chains. Okay, so we have 60 chains. I will be joining my chains with a slip stitch. Now, I will be making three chains. And then I want to make an additional three chains to turn. So in total, six chains, go back in your same stitch with a double crochet like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make one chain and then we're going to skip a total of one, two, three, four. Double crochet, three chains, go back in your same stitch, and we're going to make one chain, and one, two, three, go in your fourth stitch with a double crochet, three chains, go back again in your double crochet with another double crochet and I will continue like that until we get to the end of this row okay so we're finishing up this row I made one chain now I'm gonna go into my one two three into my fourth chain I'm gonna make a slip stitch so this is what you should have Now I'm going to make a total of three chains inside of my chain stitch in five double crochets. Okay, so you have three chains and five double crochets. In this next chain stitch, we're going to make six double crochets. Just like that. And I'm going over again and I'm making six double crochets I'm going to go over in my next stitch and I'm making six double crochets Okay, so I'm just going to continue just like this until I get to the end of this row and I'll tell you what to do next. We have two, four, and six. I'm going to go in the top of this stitch with a slip stitch. So this is what you should have. This is what we have so far. Okay, so I made three rows in three different colors and we're going to continue. Okay, so I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to mark the end of my top. So 
so you want to make sure you have it flat so you can mark the end and I'm marking here by the way this is the doll top um, I just want you to get the concept of how to crochet a top a very easy way okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my doll well it's not my doll it's my daughter's doll and I'm gonna measure it onto the doll and my markers are here at the end of my row at the corner rather okay so we're going over in this stitch as you can see the marker is here and this is the stitch that we're going into and I'm gonna make a total of three chains so we have three chains and I'm going in each stitch with a half double crochet I like half double crochets because I think they're very neat stitch to work with and I like to work with them so I'm going to crochet until I get here as you can see there's going to be a space here so when I get there I'll show you what we do next okay so this is what we have so far I'm going to turn now I'm going to make three chains and I'm going in my next stitch put half double crochets so I'm just going to do a few rows and I'm just using this doll to measure as I go So we're going to do half double crochets until I get to the end and I will keep turning. Okay, so we're finishing up this row before we turn. So I'm just going in the top of my chain stitch in order for me to turn. Okay, now I'm turning with three chains so each time you turn three chains and go in your next stitch okay so I'm going to show you how to change colors so we have our double crochet on our needle and I'm going to use my blue to pull everything through so this is how you change your color I'm going to the orange yarn and I'm gonna turn with one two three chains and I'm gonna hang on to my orange yarn so I could feed it as I crochet so it will disappear into my half double crochet stitch So I'm holding on to it and I'm crocheting over it. See? Now it's gone. Okay, we're turning with three chains. And we're going in each of our stitch with half double crochets okay so we're just going to continue like this get her white just like this And 
then returning and we're doing half double crochets And we're doing three rows of white. So far, this is what her little top looks like, as you can see. So I'm just going to use the white and I'm going to make one more stitch just like this and I'm making three rows of this turn this row and we're turning with three Okay, so far this is what it looks like and I'm gonna go over this side so I'm gonna clip the yarn here and then we need nine so I'm gonna count from this end which is easier so I'm just gonna go in my chain stitch here at the end and one two and three three chains and half double crochets so we have four five six seven, eight, and nine, just like this side, two, four, six, eight, nine, nine over here, we're going to turn all of three rows of white over here, so three chains, and half double crochets across, Okay, we're turning again with three chains oops Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. As you can see, it's starting to look like something. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crochet the back with the same stitch that I used at the front. Okay, I'm not going to repeat it, but I'll show you how to, to begin. And we'll take it from there so and I'm doing three rows of orange three rows of blue and they're all chain stitch to begin and each time you turn 
um, you're doing double crochet. So chain stitch to begin, okay? So I'm doing three chain stitch. So we have three chain stitch now. I'm going in each stitch as I previously did. Let me just remove my marker now that I'm not going to need this one. Just like this. And in each stitch with half double crochets. Just like that. So this is where we completed part of the top part of the blouse or top. And um, this is part one of the video. So in part two, I will be showing you how to complete and do a finish on the top. It's going to be beautiful. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but it's going to be a beautiful top when I'm finished. Okay, so stay tuned for part two and keep watching this channel for many more. Many blessings. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Share the video and keep watching this channel for many, many more. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.